Today I'm going to review the Broaden Taylor Folding Proofer. Is it worth the money? Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to review the Broad and Taylor Proofer, which you've probably seen me use in many videos. This is one of my more requested videos, so I thought I'd give you my thoughts on this product. It's a device designed to keep your dough at a certain temperature, helping you control or even speed up your fermentation. It can also be used as a slow cooker for making yogurt or for tempering chocolate. So it's not just a one trick pony, but I honestly have never used it for anything else than dough. I've used this device for over two and a half years and I've purchased it with my own money. Everything contained in this review is my honest opinion. You can make your own proofer like Henrik shows on his awesome channel, The Bread Code. Follow the link above. Being an engineer and pretty practical is required. And honestly, while I am an engineer, I like to tinker with bread, not my tools. So what do I like about the Broad and Taylor proofer? One, it is super temperature stable. Once you've set it, it's heated and it keeps the temperature very well. It works great for fermenting doughs, but also for making a starter or just feeding your starter and getting through the cycle quicker. Two, it folds up into almost nothing. So when not in use, you can just store it on a shelf somewhere. That's really good thinking on Broad and Taylor's part. I love a good user experience. Three, you can get an extra rack so you can stack your doughs without having them stand on top of each other. This is a game changer for some bakers. Four, it comes with a tray to keep your dough from getting a skin. This can be avoided by covering your dough though. Five, it comes with a temperature mode switch so you can select either Celsius or Fahrenheit, which is something I think is really great, especially for being made by an American company. Six, the first part of that name, broad, is spelled with the Danish character er. The word bol means bread in Danish. How cool is that? So what don't I like about the Broad and Taylor Proofer? One, it's pretty expensive. Uh, you'd have to bake uh, a lot of bread uh, or take your sourdough obsession very seriously to spend that kind of money. That being said, as an avid baker, it is worth the money. This puppy will take your baking to the next level. Two, while it's well made, it seems a bit cheap with the white plastic. It's practical, keeps the weight down, but it doesn't look very premium. I can live with it because it delivers where it matters, but you aren't going to keep it on your kitchen counter next to your $2,000 espresso machine straight from Italy. Three, it doesn't lower the temperature. Um, it's probably obvious for most, but I remember one time I was working with a big batch of bean to bar chocolate that I had made trying to temper it. I was running it in my tempering machine and I could not for the life of me figure out why it couldn't temper the chocolate. Well, it was during a heat wave and the ambient temperature was above the lower temperature needed to temper the chocolate. Go! Oh! Four. I don't have any more dislikes, and those were the pedantic ones, to be honest. So who should buy this? If you bake once in a while and you're not convinced you're in it to win it, dog. She's in it to win it. Don't spend your hard earned money on this. Instead, find somewhere warm in your kitchen to store your dough, while it's not necessarily super reproducible. If you bake every week consistently and you want to be able to control the time of your fermentation, you want to get your starter ready quicker and in general want your bakes to shine, this is a must have purchase in my opinion. If I divide the number of hours that I've used this device with the price, it comes down to fractions of a cent per hour. I wouldn't want to not have this tool available. I've left a link in the description for the device. This is an affiliate link, so if you buy it through this link, I will get some money off the purchase. So consider that I could be biased. If you do buy, it'll help my channel, so you get my sincerest thanks. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If there's any other sourdough-related item that you'd like me to review, let me know. 
For more Sado uh, content like this, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.